This is question four from a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Here we're asked to show that seven and a half minus four and two thirds is equal to two and five sixths. So bearing in mind that this is a calculator paper, it's quite unusual to get a question which is asking us to add and subtract, uh, add or subtract uh, fractions or mixed numbers like these. Um, and the key idea here is that we're asked to show that this gives us the answer. So we must show our work in uh, for this question. And the way that we're going to answer this is just uh, by subtracting these two mixed numbers. So in order to do this, I'm going to turn these mixed numbers into top heavy fractions. The way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to multiply the denominator by the whole number and then add on the numerator and that will give me a that will give me so 2 multiplied by 7 is 14 add on the 1 gives me 15 halves so i can say that 7 and a half is exactly the same as having 15 halves from that i'm going to subtract 4 and 2 thirds and again i'm going to do exactly the same so 3 multiplied by 4 gives me 12 add on the 2 gives me 14 so I'm going to, I've got 15 over 2 minus 4, 14 over 3. Now from this point, what I then need to do is I need to recognise the fact that the denominators here are different. And so in order to answer this question, I'm going to have to make equivalent fractions. So I'm going to make equivalent fractions to 15 over 2 and 14 thirds, which have the same denominator. So in order to do that, I've got to first figure out what the lowest common denominator of 2 and 3 are, uh, what 2 and 3 is. So it's the lowest number which is in both of the 2 times table and in the 3 times table as well. So 2, 4, 6 and obviously 3, 6. So my lowest common denominator is going to be 6. So I'm going to put that on the bottom of my fractions. Then if I look at this fraction here, what has... Um, what have I multiplied 2 by to reach 6? And I can say I've multiplied it by 3. So that means I need to multiply the numerator by 3 as well to give me a fraction which is equivalent. So that gives me 45 over 6. Then doing exactly the same thing here, 14 over 3. What has 3 been multiplied by to reach 6? It's been multiplied by 2. So I have to multiply the numerator, 14, by 2 as well. So 14 multiplied by 2 gives me 28. And so I've got 45 over 6 minus 28 over 6. And then just subtracting these, that is going to give me 17 over 6. From there, I can then turn this into a mixed number. And hopefully it will be the same as 2 and 5 sixths. So to turn this into a mixed number, how many sixes fit into 17? 2 with a remainder of 5 sixths. Um, so final answer here would be, and kind of the important thing is that you're showing some work in uh, using improper fractions to solve this uh, mixed number sum at the top. So that would be your final answer. Obviously you don't get any marks just for writing 2 and 5 sixths because you're giving it there at the beginning. It's the work in here that's important.